Zap Black and the Six Century Peak Recovery Group. Oh, hey, you got it right. What about your hunks in my eye? Six Century Peak Recovery Group. That's it. This yeah. is the first time anybody's ever said our name on stage. <laughs> well, then uh, this is the first time for everything. Uh, now, Zap Black and the Six Century Peak Recovery Group. What type of uh, what type of genre would you consider that? Boo boo rock. Boo boo or boo boo. I heard Boo Boo Rock. I heard Boo Boo Rock too. I would call it Sock Rock because Jeepers Creepers, that knocked my socks off, huh? Oh! <laughs> I think I needed a few minutes of LSD before I saw that support. Oh! Oh! I'm off my gourd. Oh, we're Wampus Nook Daddies. We're going to play some songs for you. Thank you everybody for coming out in this treacherous weather. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you to Mousetrap for having us. And uh, let's get right down to the funk. And uh okay. <laughs>
Give it up for Owen with that amazing haggis like solo. I'd rather use Google. Oh. 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 I heard the crowd said they want to hear a Fortnite joke. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe a couple songs in. Let's uh, <laughs> write your own songs. Yeah, I gotta warm up though, real quick. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. We'll rip off that band-aid when it comes time. This next song is called uh, Big Man. Shout out to our, our large men and shout out to all our uh, short kings and everyone in between.
So, uh, by a count of racks, how many of you can count to 30? So, I need you guys to help out the band a little bit and count to 30 with them. Is that okay? Okay. So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh my God. Fourteen. 
song is a shout out to our man Peter Norm. Uh, you know Peter? Check out on MySpace. He's got a large body of work. Very large. Large body of work. Loads of content.
Yeah. So is everybody enjoying themselves tonight? Give it up for 6th century, give me the most beautiful performance I've seen in my life. Give them some love! It's a night for sock rock. All the sock rock enthusiasts rejoice. Hey, their socks are flying off right now. Come on now. <laughs> now it's the part of the show where I'd like to tell a joke if I will. Let me do a good one. A poor bookseller walked through Central Park on his, on his uh, way home each evening. One Monday, a masked man jumped from behind a tree. Give me your money! I have no money. I'm just a poor bookseller. Here's my wallet. See for yourself. Finding the wallet in the victim's pockets, all empty, the bandit grumbled and ran off into the darkening, darkening shrubbery. Darkening. The next Monday, the same bandit accosted the bookseller. Give me your money! Again, he made off without a dime. This happened each Monday evening for about a month. Finally, the bookseller said to him, Look, you recognize me. You know I'm only a poor bookseller, and I don't carry any money at all. Why do you waste your time and risk getting caught every Monday? The rubber replied, I'm still practicing, and you don't seem to mind too much. <laughs> oh, that was good, dude. Uh, this is sponsored by the greatest of all time, Plain Jokes. Uh, the goat of Plain Jokes, if you will. Crack them! Uh, I can tell them another knock knock joke real quick. Yep. Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Gorilla. Gorilla. Huh? Gorilla. How about you gorilla me up a hamburger? Oh. <laughs> We're going to get a little, uh, Hippity hoppity! Hello! Hippity hoppity! Don't ever say hippity hoppity again. Ready, Jake? Yeah, dance, bro. Dance, bro. We're gonna have, uh, yeah, we're gonna do some hip hopping. So, continue with it. Uh, do a two step on it, you know, do the stanky leg. Do a little soldier boy, tell them all, crank that soldier boy. Anyway, you know, first of all, it's on the beat. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
here. Like I said, we got the king of our hearts, Elijah Pollard on drums. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! The king of our hearts, Tony Achari on the alto, tenor sax, and the blues, and the riff rapping. Don't forget the riff rapping. We got Ethan Hodes here on the trumpet. Sporting a, like I said, a lovely shirt. Someone said great. Come on now. Ethan's the king of our hearts, too. Don't, don't play on Ethan's name like that. We'll give you a wampum. We'll give you a whopping. Oh, our name, Wampus Hunt Daddies. You got that. Huh? And we got the lovely, the beautiful king of our hearts. Oh, the so down there on the electric guitar. And look at that shirt he's got on. That's a beautiful shirt. Huh? I think that you can buy that on the, on the, at the merch table right over there. Wait, what's the brand called again? Uh, it's called Lady Mart. Hashtag Lady Mart on uh, Instagram. This next song is called Sandy Cheeks. Uh, actually, give it up for Ryan on the freaking bass. Yeah. The real king of our hearts, the soulmate to our toe. Uh, the man of many names. Uh, this next song is called Sandy Cheeks. It's actually about a uh, little appointment that I had down in, uh, in Florida. And, uh, I don't think you, you get the point. <laughs> Like I said, we, we got a few more left. Thank everybody for coming out despite this awful weather. Um, thank you to the Mousecraft and thank you to Zap Black and 600 for covering their program. All right. And uh, here's Sandra. Is that pretty? Yeah.
Thank you. 
they could be like you and me. Yeah. <laughs> this next song is called We Out Here. Catch, catch me outside. How about that? Oh How about that? We yeah. out here, my buddy. Ethan How about Stutz? no? Shout out Ethan Stutz. If anyone knows the King Ethan Stutz.
alligator shack. I'm an alligator hunter. The alligator thought, alligator hunter thought. So he said, I might as well go in and see what the buzz is all about. He goes in, he looks over the menu for a little bit. He sees a particularly strange uh, menu item. He sees a, uh, an item for 30 hot dogs. 30 hot dogs, he says to the waitress. He said, what's up with that? She said, well, we had the guy from Man vs. Food in here the other day, and we needed a uh, we needed a particular challenge for him, you know, so we could have the guy from Man vs. Food come into the restaurant. Kind of owed a favor to someone. Fortnite player was kind of bored. He said, that's fine, just bring the hot dogs, man. And uh, she brought the hot dogs, you know, she came to check on them a little bit later. She sees, oh my goodness, all the hot dogs are gone, but there's still all the buns. She says to the Fortnite player, well, what's up with, what's up with all the buns? You didn't eat any of the buns. He said, well, I'm going uh, paleo right now. I can't have any of the uh, enriched flour. She says, okay, then that's uh, unbeknownst to me. But if you can't have flour, that's on you. She said, is there anything else I can get for you? Is there anything else I can get for you? He says, well, I could use a nice glass of chug jug to wash it all down. <laughs> we got one more and we're out of here. And it's called Jada Stevens. She also has a large body of work.
Oh, dude, haggis. Is it the haggis oh. that's in the show ending? Oh, damn, he just haggis, bro. 